Hey everyone, we're Chris and Wendy from Meeple Overboard, and today we are playing Pendulum by Stonemeyer Games. This is designed by, as far as I know, first time designer Travis Jones, and art by, uh, last on the credits here, uh, Robert Leesk. Last but not Leesk. Um, I also don't know his art, so this is kind of an interesting new uh, little thing for, for all of us. Yeah, interesting. So, this is the board of Pendulum in the town of Pendul Town, in the kingdom of Pendul Kingdom, probably. This is some flavor text. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> it's a game about time, and we are racing against these times. Well, not really against them, but we use them. So each timer has a different value. This is 45 seconds, 2 minutes, and 3 minutes. And essentially what we're trying to do is when a timer is is on a track of actions, if we have a worker there already, that worker can take its action. The time or the tracks that do not have the timer, you can then place workers on in preparation for it to move over and then to take those actions. Yep. So then when this is when this 45 seconds runs out, we flip it over to the other side. This worker opens up so Wendy can move little, you know, little blue W D W die wherever they want to. And then if a, if the timer is now on this spot, I can choose to activate this worker. Some of these spots have a cost to them. The black area being 45 seconds is, is some of the smallest actions, get some basic resources. Uh, over here in the green area with a two minute timer is to get more victory point things and to get uh, as well some of our bigger engine building. And then in the purple area has the most opportunity for victory points and uh, for the biggest engines that we've built to kind of fire off. So speaking of victory points, we're trying to get basically four different kinds of them throughout the game. We are. These are our victory point trackers over here. And what we're trying to do is get all of these little markers into this parchment area. And if you can see, our boards are a little bit different. Now, this one is a special one, and that is gained by this over here. What is this called? The legendary mark? I I, I call it like the legendary achievement. I don't know. That sounds like a, <laughs> sounds like a video game thing, like legendary. So anyway. Sounds fancy. It's the purple victory point. You'll notice that we only need one of them, but this is basically the first win condition. If one of us has the legendary victory point and the other doesn't, automatically that person wins. If not, then it's whoever was able to get all of them across. Uh, if, if all of us have all of ours across, then it's whoever's furthest ahead. If none of us are able to get all the way into the parchment area, it's whoever is closest. With so, the farthest away track? Yeah, who's ever farthest away track is closest to the parchment mm -hmm. area. Uh, so that's kind of... So that's kind of that. Uh, so our characters are different in the length of the track and also in what some of these little abilities along the bottom here do and what our cards do. Cards are kind of free actions you can fire off um, while you're kind of waiting for timers so that you can fire off worker placement actions and such. And then you can get those cards back by spending whatever is over here to get your hand back. And we'll basically continue as we go. So... Yeah, uh, and so basically what will happen is we'll place workers and fire them off and such until this purple timer flips over three times. When it flips over, it knocks off this time marker. It'll flip back, knock off this one, then flip back and knock over this one, at which point we'll enter the council phase, which is a non-timed end-of-round score bonuses and such kind of a, uh, a phase that we'll go over when we get there. So yeah, this is real time, and so we may be able to explain a lot of what we do, but we also may not. So be prepared to follow along and keep up with us. If, if we don't make complete sense, then uh, you know that our minds are just racing. Uh, so we'll try not to scream like there's like a fire in the kitchen or anything, but we'll also try... We'll, I mean, we inevitably won't be able to explain everything that we're going to try to do. So uh, with that, I think that we're, I think that we're ready to, to set off. Before we flip our little timers over, we want to explain this real fast. This is a as-you-go tracker that you can go down. Instead of using the timers, it represents basically about how long the timers take to flip. We're not going to use this version, but this is if you don't want to play real time. Yeah, this is more of like a turn-based type thing. Uh, I, we figured that you're not here to watch that. You're here, you're here to watch us run around like chickens with their heads cut off. So on the count of three, we shall flip over the timers and start this little mess. One, two, three, flip. Okay, the green timer sometimes doesn't go, so we're going to give that a bit of a of a of a kickstart here. Sometimes we have issues with the <laughs> with so, multiple timers with that. I'm going to go. I think I want to go there, and then I reckon that I probably also want to go here. Mm, yeah, Ugh. I could spend I could spend some cubes to already start doing things. See, the flexibility of my chica here, uh, uh, Licinia the Alchemist, is that I can spend 
most of my special actions are like any cube type of things. Mm-hmm. Wendy doesn't have that luxury. She has to spend votes, and votes is how you measure your um, your popularity. So Wendy doesn't want to spend those necessarily, but boy, are they boy do they come in handy at the same time. What they do? Okay, this is ready to flip. So I'll go ahead and fire off this one, which gives me $2. two coins. This is the, my yellow banner action. So and woot. I get a vote. Very good. Votes are uh, votes are nice. They will suffice. <laughs> this, that's one of the things I struggle with most in this game is actually just getting votes. So when we have a second, I want to explain these cards. So these cards have different options, and they actually tuck underneath here. And then whenever you take one of the actions, like this yellow one here, you take this benefit plus any cards underneath it. Yeah, the yellow benefits are always the weakest. Uh, yellow, then red, then blue, then brown is kind of the, the biggest. And you see blue and brown are over here. They're the biggest things that can fire off. So whoop, this flips over. Um, you know, So uh, this takes about the same amount of time. So you saw that when did I place there. You can only place a regular worker in an empty space and then the grande worker afterwards. We're going to give ourselves like a one second-ish, like, you know, wiggle room. So once this fires off, the timer is now done. So this will flip up and then we can do these actions. So I'll spend two coins to go ahead and fire off my red thing, which is to get four of any cube. So I'm going to do that one. My red moved up and I got two popularity. I'm going to then trade in four to get my third worker. Right so I'm spending here. another two bucks to get uh, two this guy's gonna come votes and a red here. victory point. Yahoo. He's going to come there and I'm going to get a red. So here's the hard part is that... I can spend two of any resource one time to pull things off from a space where there's a timer, and I really want to, but oh boy, I don't know. This is this is tough. Oh man, Wendy already put something up here, and the purple timer is going to flip over here shortly, so it is. she's going to gain the advantage of that, whereas I am not. Really want that purple spot. Okay, the purple timer is done. done. So I'm gonna spend two dollars. You have to knock off this. Sorry, timer thank thing. you. Make sure it's going. Two dollars to get uh, five brain power. They're not brain power. What are they called? Culture. Gain five culture. I'm then gonna spend this card right here. Oh, there you go. One culture. I get three cubes of my choice. And. There. <laughs> I was gonna let that. <laughs> I am under no obligation to let, tell Wendy That's when true. the when any timer flips over. So I was just waiting, biding Excuse my time, because <laughs> I'm still waiting another like forty seconds or so for that thing to fire off. <sighs> oh boy, I really put myself in a dill of a pickle by just putting both of my workers up there. Oh, oh, I'm so torn on what. I can accomplish in the time that's left to me. Oh, it's so hard. I feel like I'm doing worse than last game even, and that is not, <laughs> that's not, <laughs> not something you should pride yourself in. That's fair. Almost done with this black one here. Okay. I'm gonna Dad gummit, really? Here. I'm going to take this. Okay, this comes out finally good. Um, oh, I could put both my guys here oh, yeah. so, so that I can choices. qualify for... Oh, this guy wants to go up there, by the way. Yeesh. Oh, I'm in such a bad spot. Oh, no, I'm not going to accomplish what I want to accomplish. Before the oh, time I'm runs sorry, out. Oh, I'm sorry, I spent these. Haha. <laughs> no cheating for me. Yeah, that is one of the hard things about this game, is, is just trying to make sure you don't accidentally cheat, which is fine, you know, but... Okay, yoink, so I'm going to activate both of these... Yellow Maybe. banners so that I get four coins, two coins, two times. So yoink, yoink. Uh, and then now, oh no, which thing do I want to do? I can either uh, I can either pull this off so that I can put something up here so that I can get one of these one of these cards so I can get more things, or do I want to spend all of these now to try and get a new worker because having three workers is so much better than not having three workers. Mm -hmm. But then I won't have money to activate anything in the purple area once this timer flips and then it's donezo. I got these votes for no reason because I'm about to lose them and I couldn't even get a third vote to activate that thing. 
I'm gonna get three dollars because I've upgraded this. Uh, oh, this is done. End around. All right. Did I want to end round? <laughs> I don't even know if I wanted to do that, but I did it. So it is what it is. Whew. Okay. So because this last timer got knocked off, there, uh, therefore, it is the council phase time. So what'll happen is here in order, we're gonna have to go ahead and reset popularity. So blue is kind of the dummy, or no, sorry, red is the dummy player. Oh, I guess we didn't explain that. The red dummy player just blocks these single spots here, so you have to only place grandes. You can't put your regular sized people in there. That's just for the two player game. Only for the two player game, yes. So this is the the one to three side uh, player side of the game, and then this is a little thing that happens in the two player game. And they also have a default of four votes to determine their popularity. So unfortunately, the lame duck computer is going to be the most popular. <laughs> Uh, I have two votes. How many votes do you have? I have only one. I have two. I have more votes than you. You what? do. I had to spend four of mine to get my extra worker. Oh, uh, well, you have an extra worker, so that... Ugh. So anyway, so I have the second most popular, and when do you have the least? So what will happen here is if, if I were the most pos prosperous, if I were the most popular guy, I could get to choose two victory points of my choosing. Uh, in second place, I only get to choose one, and I'm at a complete loss. So, you know what, boink, I'm going to bring this one up the rear. Uh, Wendy does not get a bonus. And then now, in order, we're going to go ahead and choose cards from that area there. And, oh. Which card do you want? I'll explain these real quick. So this lets you, uh, this is the immediate symbol, so you get to immediately activate your blue flag area. This increases, usually at the end of the council phase, you have to discard down to two under each column. This lets you keep up to three. This says spend two red cubes to get a worker, to remove a worker where the timer is. This lets you upgrade a small worker to a large worker, instantly $5. And then this lets you spend, this is a reusable, these are both reusable. Um, these are cards that let you spend three red cubes to get a uh, a of province squares. to tuck under your engine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, there's so many good choices, but Mama didn't raise no fool, so I'm gonna oh, take this so one. so jealous. Yeah, I'm doing this for two reasons. One, because it's nice to have these cards. It's nice to have, in my case, two of these cards, so I'm not beholden to waiting for the timers. But also because I don't want Wendy to have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many options and choices. I love to upgrade my workers so that I don't have to fight for things. But I think I'm gonna take this max three. We're gonna try out this. So this is just a permanent ability I now have. I don't really spend the card, he just hangs out. Yep, so you don't have to be, uh, you're not beholden to discarding down to two, which is sweet once you start firing off these banners and getting tons of stuff. So uh, the rest of these are gonna go ahead and discard. So yoink, go away. Um, so we get our rewards. Uh, Step number three is check to see if we have are exceeded past our maximum um, provinces down here. I'm not. I'm certainly not. And Wendy is not. <laughs> and then we reset the cards for the next round. So Wendy's setting the resetting those bonuses. I'm going to reset this next uh, accomplishment here. Now this is now when the silver victory point thing comes into play. So now whichever one of us finishes this first. We'll put the marker on here and has to choose, right, once we have eight uh, intelligence, eight brain uh, blue cubes, <laughs> and then once we have also three votes, then the person has to choose between getting a, a free province or taking the silver star uh, special victory point. Mm -hmm. And the other person cannot grab this in that same round. So uh, we'll see. Don't you have a card that lets you take this bonus twice? I do. That's what this card does. It lets me... Do that twice. And if I'm going to take the legendary action, I get the legendary action as well as the benefit if I use that card. Gnarly. Okay. So I want you to not ever succeed. Oh, I'm, I'm doing bad. I don't have a third worker. I don't have anything else. These go ahead and clear off. Yep. And then any workers that do not have a timer on them, we can move around. So I'm going to go ahead and move this guy. I'm going to put him there actually because I want that, that blue benefit right away. I'm going to leave these where they are because I want these actions to fire off immediately once we flip mm -hmm. over the timers and then I'll have ways to pull them out of there by spending some of the resources Ooh, that I'm I I'm so scared that you have the ability to pull your workers back two different ways and I have zero. That is definitely a positive thing in this game. 
I'm I'm just afraid of doing really terrible. <laughs> I think I'm going to do horrible, but... As I feel like I am too, so we'll see how this goes. Hey, great. So anyway, that's the end of the... Uh, so anyway, the end of the council phase is to reset. Uh, you should reset those cards. We reset these ones. Mm-hmm. Um, if there's any missing from here, we could refill them up. And so, uh, yeah, I think that we're good now. I think that's it. Okay, so there's four rounds to the game, and these cards over here serve as the, the timers, by the way. It'll be, uh, we flip over another set of purple ones at the end of this next round, and then for the fourth round, we'll flip over five uh, red-backed cards, which are, like, always the ending ones, which are just try and get the last few victory points you need. Ready, set, flip. Yoink! Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I spend two Sweet. coins to grab four cubes of my choice oh my gosh i want oh you know what? i don't want to do this, this one so yet because i badly. need more money so i'm going to spend the two on that i'm going to do that i'm going to fire off this one so i can these. spend four red cubes to grab a province and i want a province so badly whoa this one is worth just victory points oh that's so good but i could <laughs> we also need more i just need resources of any kind whatsoever oh but but victory points, just victory points straight up. So for... as you can see, I'm waiting on this guy. I don't have the money yet, but because I've got lots of time before it flips over, I can wait till this guy gets me the money that I need. Okay, so I'm going to spend to move this one. Ha ha ha. Oh, I didn't want to place there. Okay, you know what? No, here, I'll just have left this. <laughs> I'll spend to remove this one then because... <laughs> now I'll spend my two. I just, I just, I wasn't clever, quick enough to be clever. To get five of these... All right. I just need one more vote to be able to afford this. Oh, really? You have that many? You have all those cubes already? Yeah, I have nine. Oh, my gosh. I need And no votes. workers available because, you know, I can't get my guys back. Okay, so I spent this card, by the way. I spent the two resources to to pull a, a worker out of time, out of a, a timed area. So, okay, all the timers are running. Just needed to check that. Oh, I really need... I need to get this, and I need to get a ton of cubes so I can get a new worker because it's agonizing having only a few workers. So yoink! Um, oh, go ahead and fire this, this one off. Do. Whoo, boy! This is you know he's gonna come This over is here. accidentally good, I guess. Hmm. No, we'll do this one. I'm just waiting. I'm just biding the minutes as they pass by. I need this. Come I'm on. just... Come on, go quicker! <laughs> okay, now this flipped over. I don't have to activate this yet because I don't have a way of paying for it. But once this flips, I will... Uh... Oh, wait, I do have a way of paying for it. Okay, so I'm going to activate All this right. guy. I now can get this over here, and I am going to spend my two times card. So I get this little thing, my legendary action. And I get to have a province. I'm going to drop the top of the deck. Ooh, exactly what I wanted. Boo, boo. I don't this like means to hear that. Every boo. time that I go to yellow, I get an extra reputation, which you I get need. a vote. Or vote, yeah, sorry. They're called votes. Oh, I call them reputation. Man. They're called votes. I apologize for my malapropisms. Oh, man. I can't believe you got You get this all the time and I you just do. spank me on votes and I can never get high up there enough. So I'm always in a worse position than you. So I, ah. Ah, curses. This goes here. He's going back up there. This goes here. He's going here. I'm just waiting on you. So You're just making me so angry, <laughs> sir. And I don't have red cubes to spend to pull him out of there. Because I had to try and get so many uh, blue cubes. I need to figure out... I need to get votes so that I can... Get sure, I can spend some blue cubes Ah, I, don't, I can't even get the legendary action anymore. I'm going to spend three blue cubes to move two in blue there. Because that is just a thing that I do. That is a thing that you do. Doing that thing I do. Uh, is it worth it anymore now to try and get this? Because all it gets me is a free province. But I'm already along on the path. So, I mean, it feels... All right. Oh, the sunk cost. Three dollars and eating a at reputation. Me. That is enough to pick up my hand. Woo. Which now I can spend. Oops, bumping stuff. That's not good. I'm there. Okay. Yoink. Okay, so. I can so... spend a cube to get three of my choice. I'm going to get three. Oh, reds. my word. Oh, I'm in such a bad place. 
All right, what's flipping next? This needs to go down. Okay, so I'm gonna get two more reputation back and I get to move up red again. I spend $2 on that. This is literally not worth it. I shouldn't Oops. be pursuing this anymore. He's just gonna keep spamming that one spot. It's his goal in life. It's just spam. And you're just getting votes out of it. It's disgusting. <laughs> so, oh uh, man, should I even have done that? Fine. I'll spend the $2 to get this, which is two votes. And then one red victory point. That's terrible. Um, if I can get a vote, then I can get this thing, which is a free province, and I probably would have been better served by doing literally anything else. I didn't expect Wendy to be able to get that so fast and get the the legendary point. Oh, I'm a boss. Yeah, I have lost this game, I think, already. <laughs> um, we shall see what happens. I haven't fired off any of my cards, which is embarrassing. I just fired off this one. I get three more dollars no, and a should reputation. I just get that one vote. Oh my gosh, I'm doing nothing this round because I'm... Should I just pivot now and spend this eight on victory points and or getting another worker? But those spaces are already filled, so even if I got another worker... Oh, man. Flipping this over, spending two more dollars to get th five, all five of these cubes. We got ten blue cubes. I'm going to spend three. Is it going? I'm going to spend three to get two more blue spaces. Yeah, I don't think that timer was going, unfortunately. I just moved it over there, so it's going now. Okay. We do have issues with these timers. New link. I'll take one vote. So, boom, I've accomplished this, but it's it was... Yeah, I think that was a fool's errand, honestly. So, yoink, I can get this now. Uh, this guy is stuck. That's what I want. I want this one. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm going to go up there. I'm going to spend eight of these resources uh, on another worker. So I knew I'd have, have a new worker. Congratulations. Yahoo, this is terrible. <laughs> you finally caught up. I, I think catching up is is not, <laughs> is not the ordinate word at the moment. I need a red cube, like a single red cube. It's great that I can get three of something from these cards, but goodness gracious. It is a long battle. <laughs> that it is. What do I want to put this guy? Maybe, maybe up there. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it. Yeah, let's try that guy up there. Oh, I need this to finish and then I, oh, okay. This poor guy, he's just all kitty wampus down here. Yep, he's kind of been thrown around. Yeah, it's okay to be completely well, you know terrible at Let's this game. This. Uh, that That's my excuse, at least. So, boink, I'm going to put this guy up yonder. And then I'll put this person over here. Uh, you know what? I need votes, so I'm going to do this. So my worker's over there, my worker's here. And Grandissimo is over there. I really want more of these cards. We are struggling at getting cards. You're going to get another set? Another set of what? Of these things? Another province? I will be getting a province, yes. I'm jelly. Almost. Oh my gosh, I swear right, it's so agonizing. Okay. Yoink. <laughs> so I'm I will spend activate this, two oh, bucks this to go one. ahead and get a and this province. One. So red and two more popularity. I'll draw one off the top. It can't so be worse. $4. Oh my I gosh. Spent. I don't know what to do with this. Um, yeah, I, I really should just have built up my yellow engine more. So yoink, I will do this. Oh, I, I also fired off and I got um, two red cubes and then four of my choice, which is going to be two and two maybe. Oh my gosh. I don't know. No, I'm just going to do uh, that because now I can spend two of these. Done. What? Like Yep. Oh, sorry. That doesn't flip over. But yes, finish with the round. Your white guy goes. Okay. Well, I will have not spent this then. I don't know the legitimacy of that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, interrupting that with, with ah, so it doesn't make sense to play this card yet to pull the time out. Um, but then, yeah, so now at this point, we can just finish out doing actions that are here. Mm -hmm. So, 
Yoink. So, uh, I spend two dollars, and then I get a blue and a yellow victory point. I'm, I'm doing pathetic. And I also get one vote. No, you got more votes! This is terrible! <laughs> Alright, so what happens now is we go into the council phase, and we set the... We set the vote order, so Wendy clearly has the most. Uh, the uh, I tied at four with the computer player's generic four, so the order will swap. Uh, if, you, if there's a tie, they will swap. So I'm going to take two yellows here. I take one victory point. Um, oh, so many good options. I want everything. Can I have everything? Is that, an, is that a real option for me, that I can have everything? Um, no. No? No? Okay. I don't think so. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to take this free province thingy jiggy. And I'm pulling off the top again, because I tend to like that. Hmm. Mm, that's them that's them thinkins there. Them thinkins there. Now, Travis Jones, the designer, mentioned in the rule book that specifically some of these cards are way better than others on purpose. Um because he, he says well, you, know, you should be incentivized to be able to try and grab first. So I'm really debating on this one because that's just one of each victory point of, of, of which I'm sorely in need. Though I could also take this one to upgrade one of my oh. regular workers into that's a grande so worker. So many good options. Which, you know, which might genuinely be the way to go uh, because I'm feeling locked out of stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to take this one. And that's, so that's going to be... Um, one of each victory point. Yoink! Those are gone. So let me get one of each. Alright, so we're doing the refill everything phase? <sighs> yeah, I think so. So you'll do those cards, I'll do this one. Oh, hey, look at that! Uh, so you took that little silver, uh, silvery jig. I'll go ahead and take it back, yoink, and place it right here. So Wendy can't grab this anymore, so that's the nice thing, is the next two rounds I can try and grab this uh, this silver special victory point. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and the... Trigger's blue. Trigger's blue, which is usually one of the strongest ones. So, oh my gosh. Go ahead and clear off your votes. Oh yeah, my votes go away. Mm-hmm. Twelve cubes of any color. I think I'm there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, six, seventy. That's so terrible. Oh my gosh. I'm 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 doing just I'm just doing awful this game. Alright, so we get to remove any workers that are free and available. I think this is the only guy that is. And truthfully, I don't need my blue to fire off again, and I can't bring him over here to brown. So um, I'm probably gonna get a province. Who I'll probably do with, with that fellow. Oi. <laughs> um, this is this is bad. This is really bad. Um, I don't have anything that I can move, so I think it's just now up to uh, reflipping the timers. Ready? And flip. Okay, right. so my guys are free. I'll probably do that again, but I also need to go here first. I need to move this person, and I'm probably going to need to fire this off. Just for good measure, just to kind of get things moving. I have a lot of cubes here. Uh, I need to try and get 12 cubes. So... I need to try and get 12 cubes, and I need to try and get three votes. This is what's been hurting me and slowing me down so much, so I don't have mm. a, a vote card like Wendy has, so I can't just activate this spot once and then activate a yellow once. You know what I mean? I would love that here, so that I could just be firing off the yellows with most, you know, rapidity. Um, sure. So, yoink, I'll do this, and I get six, because now this is leveled up to... Oh, I'm sorry, I never did that. I never played that guy when he was there. I was supposed to. Anyways, that was four. For a province. Ooh, I got another one of these puppies. Okay, these are going to clear out here pretty soon. So I'm excited about that. I might just shift them over to get stupid votes because, dad gum it. Ugh. Do we have any cards I could pull back that would be helpful? Not particularly. Um... Though I might pull him out okay, as soon as he fires off. Okay, so three dollars and two votes. I need to think about what to do with this guy. Eesh. Maybe this. 
I don't know yet. Ugh, there's a worker in both of those spots. <laughs> Ugh, the stress of all of this, man. It be stressful. Green is almost done. Almost. 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 <laughs> Boom. Okay, pay two dollars ah! for two votes and a red. That now lets me go ahead and take uh, claim this thingy. I only get to claim it once. Um, so I am going to spend three. two of these with this card to be able to you know, pull. It's funny. I'm just going to take this, even though I don't need it. I can do that, right? Because I don't need blues. Is that allowed, Chris? What? Can I take this? No, even though you I don't cannot. Need it? Oh, you you actually cannot. No, no, no. You can't okay. just play well, blocky. Well, then I just have this blocky keepy. I get extra thingy doogies. So you like? I get one vote from that. Now uh, these guys are out here, which is good. Okay, spend two dollars. I can spend two of any resource to, to come down here pull to back get three one of reputation. These cards. Three reputation and a blue. Now I'm going to spend four of it to get my final worker, which is this guy right here. And he's gonna hop up here, because this is my like money spot. Nope, he's gonna hop here. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. How many times has the purple timer flipped? Twice. Oh, I didn't hit some off. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Good catch. Yoink. Okay, so then this guy's gonna go over here. Three dollars. Yeah, I don't know. Two reputation. Now my reputation engine's firing off. Goodness gracious. Just give me votes. Just <laughs> give me votes. Votes. That's what I mean to say. That my vote engine is working now. Uh, yeah, see, this oh, is the thing. I've is. never been able to fire off a good vote engine, which always leaves me from far from the top here, which is why I, I, I don't do well by the end of the game. Mm. Being able to pick that thing first and being able to get the free victory points is really beneficial. So black is done. So you ain't going to go down here. I'm going to grab three of these yellow things. If I could get something really good in yellow besides another coin, that would be super helpful. That's done. Okay, so now I can do... Both of these things are going to spend two yellow to get, um, okay, a blue victory point, a, uh, two reds, and then uh, four cubes of my choice, which is yoink. And then I will spend two yeah, this isn't even uh, two for this, so I get yeah. two votes uh, and a red victory point, and I get this thing. So yoink, I got the legendary achievement finally. Ugh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, and I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend uh, two cubes to pull back a card that I've already played, which will be this one, so that I can spend Three more uh, dollars, two eight more votes. cubes. I'm going to spend uh, one, two, three, four, five, four votes six, to get my cards back. Seven, eight. Okay, yoink. And I do all of those, and three. I get my last worker. Uh, out here. One, so four, three red. Uh, let me go ahead and, and do then three for two that. So now I've spent these back. and... This one's essentially pointless now. I want to get another province. And you know, I can spend all of these to pull all of my... Uh, no, you know what? Uh, oh, oh. So I'm not going to spend these five yet, methinks. Oh, yoink! Okay, perfect, cool. So I'm going to spend these four to get a province and these ones to get three cubes, thereby allowing me to spend two cubes to get two victory points of my choosing. Uh, yoink, yoink. Time's up. And then and the round. I can spend these five to pull back all of I'm my I'm spending $2 cards. here to get a blue and a yellow and a reputation. $2 gone. Whew. I think I might have missed um, hitting one of these. Not this round, but the previous round. I think so. I think that round went accidentally extra long, which is fine because we both advantaged from it. So, you know, whatever. Oh, you know what? I and and with this action, I paid, but I never grabbed a province. So um, I'm going to take one of these ones off the top. And this is just a regular generic thing. So uh, oh, should I put it under brown? Yeah, I think that I will. So now if I fire off brown, I get two red victory points. So now I need to focus this one on getting... With red, I can focus on getting blue, and so with these cubes, I should probably focus on getting yellow, it seems. 
So, hey, I finally have four workers, which is great. Hey. All right, let's go to the council phase then. Well, I finally beat you on votes. The only problem is... You mean is... finally? You al- you've you already beat me on votes. I guess I did last time. <laughs> yeah, anyways. But oh. I, I didn't get to spend them last time. I got to spend them and I got to beat you on votes. The problem I is think... is that he has four and I have four, so he's technically first place. And I, uh, with three, am actually super last place. I'm going to move up on yellow for my free one. And then nothing here lets me redo stuff, does it? Um, I'm going to actually change this worker into a... A grande worker. grande worker. So this card would technically flip over. We're not going to do it because there's only two of us choosing. Peaky peaky choosing. Um, I need to try and get victory points up in different ways. So... Ooh, I could just fire off everything under red, which would give me a lot of cubes moving into next round, which that could be amazing. Or I could get this permanent ability to be able to spend stuff and move up more victory tracks, which I I am desperately in need of. And with these red backs showing, meaning that we're going into the last round of the game. So I'm not happy about my performance. I think I've been doing (laughs) superbly badly. Um, Oh, no. Oh no. Ah, do I take this one or do I get an immediate one and lots of cubes so that I can be ready out the gate next round? Because I'm I have I have nothing going on here. And that's that's while you're pointing on that, I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange my workers. This guy I think is gonna go over here. This guy is gonna come get a province. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, oh I'm I'm agonizing. What thing do I want to do? Uh, this will fire off more times, but then I also need to get lots of blue cubes to be able to make it work. And I need to try and get brown to start firing off, which it's going to be blocked already by by this. So, what a conundrum. What a conundrum I'm in. I think I'm going to take this. I think I'm going to take this one-time instant ability because it's just going to be better. So I will fire off all of my red banner stuff. So I get four cubes of my choosing. Plus I get two red. Actually, you know what? So I'll make two two of those four. I'll make them... You know what? He does want to stay here. Uh, do, I mean, do I need to make them blue now? Because I don't have specific blue requirement stuff. So I'll do all of that. I do get a blue victory point from that as well. So, uh, yeah, your old pal Chris is doing, I would say, bad. <laughs> yeah, just just throwing that out there. All right, this is the final round. We know this because of the red cards. These are ways to get points at the end. Um, I don't know if either one of us are gonna make it to the parchment with any of our things. <laughs> Oops. I genuinely have no idea. I mean, you feel like you're doing terribly. I don't feel like I'm doing very well. So you have a better engine built up, I think, than I do. Oh, gross! You have two of these. I have two of those. Yeah, so you have a better engine built up, whereas this guy is here. whereas I don't, which is which is part of the my sad my infinite my sea of sadness. Um, so okay. Well, anyway, we're not a smashing pumpkin song. We are Meeple Overboard. So let's move on to the last round of the game. Well, uh, yeah, that's right. This thing here. Ooh, it gives you five votes. Two, six, and three. Interesting. Well, I'll have that instantly as soon as it all is done. I'm gonna have so many votes this round is gonna be amazing. Yeah, this is this is terrible that I like I feel like getting a vote engine is so important because just this turn order like this bonus order here is It's vital. It's it's very good. Yes. Alright, you ready? Oh no, but let's go. Three, two, one, flip. Um, all of my workers are free, so... Okay, this thank- guy's coming down here. I'm going to get this province and put it under the brown. Then I will trigger off brown for $2, which gives me a yellow, a blue, and three votes, which then lets me complete this. So I'll move this over here, take that, and get my five votes. Um, I'm going to actually double time it. Like that. So I actually get 10 votes, which I'll just take one of these little 10 thingies. I don't like anything that I'm hearing over there. <laughs> uh, it's disgusting sounding. Oh, and this happens too. Another $2 are spent, and I get a red and two more votes because of that. And I'm going to spend four votes to reactivate my cards. 
I'm going to spend one of these. Oh, sorry. I spent these four to get that thingy there. I'm going to spend a blue. Firing this off. To get three reds. Six. This guy's going to come get over here All now. them coins. And then this one, I'm going to spend four of these to get a province thing. We need to see the provinces. Oh, this needs to refill before I do that. Yellow. Oh, do I just need red? Oh, I'm just going to take it. So that's no great. That is no great. I like, I need money. Yeah, you shouldn't have taken that spot. That's not fair. Three that's not of nice. these will let me move blue twice, which is useful. Um, but um, but um, but um, waiting. I hope that I'm doing the right choices here. Yoink. Um, okay. I'm gonna get a Three dollars. Guy there, I guess. Two more votes. Endless votes. Okay, so I'm going to spend... Oh, you know what I can do? I can spend four of these. Uh, spend these two to get two, two three, four, victory points five, up six. on To get this back <clears throat> because yellow. I need money. I'll spend two... So spend this again, one of these. To get that card four, back. One, two, three. And with that's done, so I'll go ahead and do this. I'll spend two... Come up there to activate this, which is one blue victory point, two red cubes, and then four of my choice. He's going to come over here and get that. So I'll do that. Uh, these ones can fire off. So you know what? I'll actually, for this, uh, I'll have done um, that many plus another red, I guess. And so now with these both firing off, I can get six of these cubes. Uh, this card is effectively dead to me. So I think, uh, ooh, I'm going to save. I'm going to save that for that. So that I can do, um, I'm going to spend another $2. And you know what, this needs to flip over. On two victory points, so there. Sweet! So I'm going to spend $2 to fire off uh, that one? What am I? Oh no! Oh no! Spend I meant to put that in the. Four more here to I'm just read. gonna go ahead and, and move it over. This just is clearly where I meant this. to put it because I needed my browns Two, to fire off. Three. I am an imbecile. This needs to go here, actually. So, yoink! I paid the $2 to fire this one off so I can get three red victory points. Oh my gosh, that would have been terrible. Uh, yeah, so that was my. Okay. I just, I just completely fudged that one. No shame. Two. No shame at all on, on that blatant um, mess up. Wait, what am I doing? I'm firing off these. Yellow, blue, two three more cubes. of these. Yoink. To uh, pull back Mr. Grandissimo. He's stuck there. You are moving that. I'm moving this here. Why? So that I can put this here. So that is almost ready to go. That can be ready to go. Um, nah. <laughs> All right, that's going. Both of these I'm getting. This one's going. Yoink. Four yellow, four dollars. <coughs> four, four yellow. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's one space blue. away. So I'm spending these two to get. You know what? I need one of these to actually be red. So mine. Two red. That. Four of my choice. One red. And, and two a more blue votes. victory point. Um, this one already fired off. Is this timer going? <laughs> Oh, this guy. I'm going to spend two red to pull uh, this guy out of here. Yoink, I'm going to put them over there. What do I need? There, no. I'm going to go here. I need a prominent. No, he has to stay here. Oh, I think I messed everything up. Yoink, I get one blue cube. I'm going to spend five blue cubes to be able to pull all the cards back out of my hand. Thank goodness. Um, this is free, so I'm going to move this up here. Uh, this is free, so I'm going to move that up there. I'm just going to do this I again can spend, to get more money. I can spend two cubes to move up two victory of points uh, of my choice. To get one, this two. back, I spend one of these oh, Am I actually doing okay? One of these and two dollars. Oh my um, gosh, I'm actually doing okay. I think you uh, might win. Uh, You're looking like you might win. I need, I need blues. Okay, so all of my I guys are occupied can. long term. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh, that's done. So I'm going to do this. Get three. This guy is freed up. So he's going to go uh, 
I think, I think he's got to go over here. Ah, okay. I am, I am stressed, stressed beyond belief. Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my life? I'm waiting on timers is what I'm kind of doing. And I need to figure out, oh, I'm going to spend two to pull this card out like that. Uh, come on, green. Are you done? Yoink. These are both going to go. So I'm going to spend two dollars and then two dollars so I can activate uh, red, which is going to be, so that twice I get sense. that. I get this twice. Yoink. Uh, and then I also two, get two um, four of my choice. What's the point of all of that? So one, two, three, <laughs> four. You're just and animal. then one, two, three, four, maybe? Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to spend uh, these ones to pull a worker out of you an area spend these and put this three. Put it over here. Two. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to spend two cubes of my choice to go ahead and uh, move up two uh, victory points of a color of my choice. One, two. Oh my gosh. Could I actually pull this off? Yoink. Four to redo. That doesn't even make sense. Purple timer. Oh. Uh, uh, do I want to move this yet? Or yeah, no? you do. You, I want to. Hey, oh, you do. Okay, you get to choose. Okay, I'm just going to, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just a hot mess of I have all these things in the world and I don't know what to do with them. Okay, so now we get to finish out taking actions as we desire. And I've got a lot of stuff set up here. So this was this <gasps> is 8 plus 3 is 11. <laughs> and I get a blue and a yellow. So I will take 5 uh, blue cubes to pull these out of here so that I can. All right, now let's let's plan this out carefully. So yoink, I'm spending two bucks to move up three on oh, red. My two dollars. Oh wow, oh wow. And then I'm gonna spend this, which is two bucks to get one vote, which is completely useless for me, but I get to move up yellow and blue. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do it. And then I get to spend two things to move up blue. Yoink, yoink, yep, you two steps. One. <laughs> That's unbelievable. So yoink, I'll spend two to pull this out with his ability so that I can spend two bucks to move up two more steps on a single victory point track. So, oh, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I would had no engine set up and then finally getting these browns to fire off was everything See, that and last I didn't round. get any cards that were worth continuing to use. All right, ready for the cancel phase? Yep, I think I did everything that I could, so I... Uh, I think you 100% won. Okay, so cancel phase, I have one vote, so I'm just gonna take my last little place here in popularity for sure. Well, I will take first place. How many did you, you have 11? 11, oh, maybe that might do it. The two might might do it. Oh, I might have won, hey. So I forgot that I got those two because I'm gonna take this one, which gives me one, two, three. You have to spend the five for that. Uh, and then the difference, well, so then that leaves me the opportunity to take that top left one, which is one of each victory point. Oh, that's true. So, oh my gosh. That's you still win? One, th two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yep. So now, because we both accomplished our legendary point, we, ha uh, we have to then go to see, did all of us cross into the uh, parchment area? We both did. So by how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps into it, so to speak. I guess 11, because the legendary counts. <laughs> and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's unbelievable. I had nothing going on. I, if, if I could have gotten this card engine to fire off better early in the game, I wouldn't have felt so terrible. <laughs> but I was not convinced that I was going to be able to get um, to get enough cubes, like blue cubes, to be able to like spend them use this one to pull one out, and then spend it again, then pull them out, and then do all of that, so. Whereas I think my struggle was that I didn't have any good cards. So I had, by the third, or fourth round, whatever, I was finally had this engine going, and I didn't have any cards worth pulling and putting out. I had, it was fine on blue, and I had nothing really worth it, because I already doubled up on that 
and it just gave me popularity, which I didn't need. Oh, so this one doubling up the last round to give you votes. So that was pointless. This was pointless. This at some point became pointless. And so I just had this one. Because that's what, just get three cubes of your choice. Yeah, and I didn't need more blue. Whereas, yeah, this person, the alchemist's lady, the alchemist's um, cards are more powerful, you know, at the start of the game to be able to just spend whatever cubes they wanted to for things. So I was just getting money and then spending money. But I had like nothing proper going for the first half of the game. And so I was extremely worried. Um, I do like that you build these things up. You can go past your limit. Like, you know what I mean? Like I could have continued to tuck cards under here and go past that limit, but then you just discard at the end of the round. So I think that's good. This worked out well for you. Um, Kind of. In the first... Like, well, if I had gotten these earlier, I think they would have been more useful. Mm -hmm. They just didn't feel as useful as I wanted them to be. I see. And then even your brown, which is your big, like... Like, for me, was a big victory point. Because I was, like, nine spaces behind on red, which yeah. was horrible. Um, and then to be able to move up three, and then move up three if I wanted to. You know, that that closed the gap, basically. So... Mm -hmm. Oof. Oh, I feel... I feel like heaving. <laughs> How about you? Pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. So overall, what are your impressions of Pendulum? Um, so overall, there are things that I like about this game. Like there are a lot of individual aspects that I like. So I really enjoy engine building when you're building cards and you're feeling stronger. I enjoy that. I enjoy worker placement. Um, and I even think the idea of like, different worker placement actions triggering at different times, depending on how strong of an action they are. You can obviously do a lot more of these ones and they're free during the game. These ones are a little bit harder. These ones are extremely hard. I enjoy that aspect, um, but I don't love the real time. Okay. So for example, when you play with this little tracker here, you just, uh, you flip over all of the timers by that you, you move them to a different spot. And then everyone says, okay, we can just put out workers as much as we want to. Hey, once we're all agreed, we can just, are we good to move on to the next thing? Then you flip the black timer so that anything, anyone that's put things here can activate them. Anything that's free here, we can move to somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Hey, once we're all agreed, then boom, then this flips over. And then you play that as the non-real time, but this kind of keeps track of it. I The first game that we played, we played a whole game like this, and I was just itching to play the real-time version of it. And then after having played the real-time version of it quite a handful of times now, I'm kind of done with the real-time version. <laughs> it's its own stress. Also, these timers aren't perfect. So there, there have been multiple times where we started it and it just hasn't gone. And that in itself is very frustrating. So what we've started doing is just when we flip it, I like give it three taps. We tap it quite a bit. That seems to be working. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's an imperfectness about this. And also, because they are unique player powers and they have very specific specialties, I found that these cards can be more helpful to one person than another, how they come out. And then these things, uh, same type of, of deal. Yeah. Which I don't mind this level of randomness, but this is something I learned from the Teotihuacan expansion. Once you add variable player powers, as asymmetry, then having a rotating lineup of cards like this becomes, I know it's not game breaking per se, but it becomes more frustrating and this is a game that I do get frustrated during. I think it's brilliant. I think the ways that you can combo things is, if you can set yourself up for it, that's fantastic. And it prevents people from spending, you know, five minutes on a single turn saying, well, should I get this thing so that I can benefit here and blah, blah, blah. You know, like it, it doesn't allow that, which mm -hmm. is brilliant to some degree. And then you can make an engine work. But if... I don't know, just if you just don't catch on to that, you're going to struggle. If I never caught on to how to use my worker, did I slam that three times and it's still not going? It's still not going. <laughs> there we go. Now it's going. And, uh, and that's the, the thing. Powers, like, man. Yeah. I don't, and this green one is like a little bit painful, but, you know, it's, it's fine. So I, <laughs> I think if you do something like that every time that you flip, it should be good. Um, so anyways, it's just, this, just the engine building Part of it, like these little banners firing off the red banner, feels so good. I love this part of the game. It oh, is yeah. my favorite part. 
I, I mean, that is the thing is I love engine building games. They make me happy and I'm fine with asynchronous stuff. But I think that your point was right, that that as soon as you mix the the asynchronous, As, asymmetric. asymmetric, whatever you call that, asymmetric, asynchronous seems different time, right? Asymmetric mixed with lineups and even this stuff over here, like the combination of it all just makes it hard. So these ones are actually, you only use about half the deck of these cards. And so there are multiple cards that we didn't see that could have really helped me. Right, yeah, new ways that you could have used votes for better things. And if you had grabbed those cards and added it to your set of set of cards, mm -hmm. you could have run away with this easily because you were just a few steps behind me. Uh, whereas I got this one and I didn't even use it that much because I'm just not that smart and that fast. But the few times I was able to use this one was a huge deal. You know, that was a big difference for I me. I wanted that card so bad. Yeah, and so I just hate drafted it from you because I just didn't want you to have it. And that very well may have been the turning point of the game. You know, sure, this that, very first round. That one, this is like what the one time that I happened to have the highest popular, a higher yeah. popularity than you mm -hmm. by one vote. By one vote. Yeah. So like that little difference. I don't. The rotating lineup of stuff is okay, but then having the asymmetry, having the setup asymmetry frustrates me. But this developed asymmetry is awesome it's fascinating it really is yeah so I I, I I hands down think that this is my favorite part of the game and i want to see this type of thing in more games where hey i grab this card and i have to choose do i add it to brown for this victory point do i add it to red for more red shield things do i add it to yellow if i never tucked a yellow card under here there's no way i could have won because i just needed generic cubes of any kind to burn. So That's I should have fair. maybe done that right away and I didn't and that was my folly. So I don't know, you know what I mean? There's five different player boards, double-sided. The front sides are like almost equal, but these back sides are more interesting. They are. They're more specified. The cards are almost I think the cards are equal in the the first rounds or nearly. Yeah, they're almost There's like slight the same. specialties, but yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a game that is very intriguing and has a lot of the right things in it, but I think it's the wrong combination for us. Yeah. Because yeah. in general, like, we don't mind real-time cooperative games, games like Fuse and Magic Maze. Um, uh, Escape the Curse of the Temple. Yeah, like, we have a lot of fun with those, and I do like the fact that there's not a lot of AP in this game because you just have to keep going. And there's also moments where you can pause and think because you're just waiting on all the timers, and so you're able to just... Just pick a strategy. You know what I mean? Think about your strategy for, for a little bit. I will say that there is a little bit of feeling like I'm just doing the same thing over and over again, especially mm -hmm. early in the game when you have just two workers and you just, I don't know, like it. it's probably everything's balanced as it should be. But I do feel like in the beginning, you're just kind of like, I go here and I go here and then I wait for 45 seconds and then it flips and then I activate them and then I wait for 45 seconds for the timer to flip back out of there. So there's those opening moments seem perhaps a little hollow, uh, which in most games, in plenty of games, you know, I, I take my opening moves. They're not quite rote, but they're just basic moves. Mm -hmm. But because you just actually can't expedite the process, you know, I mean, that, that beginning part feels like, oh, what am I doing? But and it then, does give you time to think and plan your next couple moves. It, that is fair. That is true. But by the end, like, I didn't have enough time to, like, do the things that I meant to do because I was just so rushed. So I understand why they don't give you start with three workers and then get up to seven because then you would never manage anything. So it's 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 brilliant, you know, but I just know that it's not a game that I'm going to want to come back to because I'm like sweating. Uh, as soon as we finished the game, I, I almost felt like heaving. It's not even like chaotic, stressful, just all the time fast. It's just, oh my gosh, you know, this time removed and now my guy's stuck here. And so what am I going to do? And then mm -hmm. this guy's stuck here until this two minute timer runs out. And then this guy, these guys are here for three minutes. Like, you know, it's, it's not even just completely go, go, go. It's, it's like this weird stop and go that, yeah. that kind of makes me more anxious, so to speak. Yeah. Definitely the moments when almost all the timers are flipping at once. And you need to get everything done in a particular order is just chaos. Yeah. It feels like. But overall, I, I feel like the game is less chaotic than I expected it to be. I will say that. In a weird way, I feel simultaneously like stressed by it. But it's not like, 
I don't know. It's it's not like someone sitting going, "Hey, bad, bad, bad. Oh, hey, what, what about this? Are you, you going to do this? You're going to pay five dollars for this thing? Hey, how about twenty dollars? Do you want to do this? Blah, 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 blah. You know, yeah. it's 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 not like a real time auction game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how best to describe it. It's 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 a puzzle. It's a weird puzzle, and you have to go fast, but you also have to go precise. But if you're too precise and you miss a timer flip at just the right moment. You know, you forgot to pull a person out of here. You can super in, mess up your strategy. In Yeah, in time that this timer was just about to flip and now you're not going to get this thing that you needed. Like, I don't know. I I like it. It's it's smart. But I'm not going to come back to it. I don't think. It's one of the games I've been most frustrated during recently. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's one that doesn't speak to me very much. Even though there's so much that I, so much individual parts that I love about it, I think the overall mechanism of it is just a struggle for me. Um, I did prefer it with the time tracker, but I also calculated way more. That's that's true. You know what? Just give me this. Just give me this province system, the game, and I'll be so happy. I'll be all about that. <laughs> that exists. It's called Gizmos. <laughs> well, okay. Well, that's 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 <laughs> true or whatever. Um, overall. You know, the, the the game is what it is, um, and it looks okay. It doesn't even have that, like, amazing look that some of the other Stonemaier games have, but at least it's not busy, so you can tell really quickly what everything does, and it's not it's not a mess. And once you tuck these cards under here, like I said, it's so, it's so satisfying to then fire this off and just get a bunch... It's just a huge endowment of stuff, and it feels great. So, I don't know. There's The highs are high, and then the, the lows are, you know, kind of low. <laughs> well, we're Meeple Overboard. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.